Welcome to the News Edge. Starting the rundown, we have reporters live around town covering several situations, starting with a police chase in Northwest Houston that was near uh, that did have a deadly ending. In fact, we've now learned with our Tiffany Justice joining us live. She, you just got this update from police. So what have you learned? All right, Caitlin, investigators are on scene and they'll be here for several more hours. The scene is right behind us. Responding officers telling us that this is one of the worst crashes they've seen. Started off as a uh, investigation as a result of a reckless driver and a reckless driving group uh, consistent with what group where they do most of the street takeovers which subsequently uh, asked our officer tried to investigate. Houston police are now investigating a deadly multi-vehicle crash near the intersection of Hempstead Road and West Little York Road after a suspect from a street takeover leads police on a chase. One person was declared dead at the scene. The passenger in that car rushed to Ben Top in critical condition. Disregarded the red light, blew through the red light at a high rate of speed. There was two occupants in the vehicles that was with the fatal crash. One was the driver. We still try to determine uh, the identity of the driver, but the passenger appears to be uh, an Asian female, mid 30 or so, who was transported to a bin top in highly critical uh, condition. Police say in total four cars were hit. Families now gathering, some feeling more fortunate than others on this holiday weekend. Well, my dad was involved in the accident. Um, not me, <laughs> thankfully, but thankfully he's okay, so, you know one of the lucky ones. He's okay? Yeah, he's fine. Thankfully, thank God, you know, he's, he's fine. And uh, apparently some people here aren't. So, you know, it's sad to see it. Uh, he was um, waiting at that light, right? Basically where he's the truck ended up almost. Yeah. And I don't know how he got hit or where he got hit from, but you know, he ended up there. These street takeovers have claimed way, way too many lives. We are going to go after them even harder after this. And Sean Tier with the DA's office also telling us that they have accepted charges of felony murder and aggravated assault. Reporting live, Tiffany Justice, Fox 26 News.